subliminals of various sorts or subliminal cues and communication on an unconscious level can be used to shift people's consciousness in various ways. Uh, the classic example is when we tell people, don't think of a blue monkey. Okay, what did you have to do to, to not think of a blue monkey? Right? There's the blue monkey, then you have to go, oops, no. So that's an example of what I would call the circle slash pattern. Okay? Um, you, when you bring up a concept and then negate it, you actually have to think of the idea right, and then cross it out. Right? So when you use negatively phrased language, then what happens is that you get you actually get the people to do what, you, what you're saying don't, okay? Recently in New York State, this happened in a, in a bunch of states, I know that the tobacco industry had to cough up a whole bunch of money and do certain things to satisfy these lawsuits that were going on. Uh, in New York State, the tobacco industry was required to uh, create an anti-smoking campaign, and they put up these huge billboards all around that said, don't smoke, don't smoke, you know, don't buy cigarettes all the time, you know, kind of things. And, uh, you know, and I'm sure they had people who were familiar with these language patterns working on this stuff uh, to get, you know, to use this campaign to, to sell more cigarettes.